I've started out with a primed and moisturized face I'm going in with one of my favorite foundations which is the Lancome Tanidol Ultra Wear and I'm just dotting this over my face and then blending in using more of a dabbing motion with my flat top foundation brush I use this foundation very very often because it has really nice coverage and a really nice kind of natural skin finish and it just makes me feel really nice and kind of glowing but I still have coverage where I need it and then I'm using my um, favorite concealer which is by Essence Cosmetics um, just using a tiny amount under my eyes so it doesn't cake up and blending out with a larger fluffy brush then I'm going in with my favorite setting powder from Barry M and I'm actually running low at the moment so I need to go get another one but this is very affordable and it gives your skin this really smooth kind of airbrushed appearance which is really great so I just take a um it's actually supposed to be a highlighting brush but I really like it for applying powder and I um kind of pat this over areas where I need it which tends to be more in the center of my face now for eyebrows now I haven't been filling in my eyebrows for very long so I tend to just um, keep it more natural and I tend to accentuate the tail of the brow more than the head. I'm still experimenting and seeing how I like to fill them in but this pencil is great, it's by Bourgeois, it gives me a lot of control and as you can see I'm just filling in more the tail and then I brush them through so that they look more natural and not so penciled in. This is just how I like to do my brows. Anyone who has any extra techniques for um, brow product application please leave them in the comments because I'd love to know but then I take the highlighting pencil and I um, use this on my brow bone underneath my brows it's really pretty and I really like how it looks and then I set my eyebrows in place with a brow mascara from Essence and I just comb this through to complete my eyebrows Now for some white eyeliner to brighten up my eyes since my eyes were quite red that day, I was a little bit tired, but this conceals it perfectly. Now for my easy go-to simple eye makeup look. I start out with a matte vanilla shade and I place this all over my eyelid and also all the way up to my brow bone. This provides a really nice powder base for any other eyeshadows to blend into and you can use any just matte vanilla color. I really like the way this looks. And then my go-to kind of everyday makeup look is to just take a matte medium warm brown on a smaller brush and to blend this from the outer corner of my eye in a rounded shape into and above my crease. I really like the way this looks. It just gives depth and definition to the eye and I think this um, this kind of reminds me of like old Hollywood makeup. Just a simple matte blend of two soft colors. But then I wanted a bit of shimmer and a bit of pink in there so I'm using Bunny Nose which is a shimmering pink eyeshadow and I'm blending upwards from the matte brown up almost all the way into my brow bone so it gives it a really soft pretty look and then I'm using a light iridescent shadow on my brow bone to make it appear higher and more lifted this eyeshadow is all about simple um, kind of accentuation of the features and then I'm taking gold colors and I'm placing them underneath my lower lash line to brighten up my eyes now my favorite part, the inner corner highlight, I'm using Poodle, which is just a sparkling iridescent white eyeshadow, and I'm placing this quite heavily on the inner corner to really make my, make, make my eyes look wide and separated. And then I'm going in with a nose contour. Now I'm modeling this kind of after how I did my nose in my Judy Garland makeup tutorial. I recently recreated her look in Meet Me in St. Louis, so you should def definitely go check that out. Really pretty classic natural makeup. But I'm just going down the sides of my nose, starting from where my um, eye socket meets the bridge of the nose, round the tip in a rounded motion to make it look more button-like and then blending out with my fingers and adding a golden highlight to the tip to finish off the button nose upturned illusion. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes 
and curling your eyelashes is a great way to make your eyes look more wide and bright and just make your eyelashes look more fluttery your mascara looks better there are many benefits to curling your eyelashes and then i'm using my favorite mascara this is the monsieur big by lancome i've mentioned this in so many videos and it still is one of my favorites it gives lots of volume and i'm getting it on my eyelid which i will have to um touch up a few of my eyeshadows later i did that off camera um but i'm just flicking this especially out at the outer corners to give a really nice fluttery effect For a highlight recently, I've been preferring something really subtle and natural looking, so I'm actually using an illuminating face powder. This is by Bourjois, and it's really, really nice and subtle, but it gives you such a natural, beautiful lit from within glow. I really love it, and then I'm using this shimmering blusher by Soap and Glory in the classic X's and O's technique, and this is a really pretty pink shimmering blusher it gives you a really healthy look to your face because of the shimmer in it and i really just i really like this um blush i love the packaging it's really pretty then i'm using my sweet peach glow kit again but if you just take more of a coral warm toned blusher and i'm using this underneath um kind of more around where the hollows of my cheeks are this gives you kind of a contoured look without having to use any bronzer which i think looks really pretty and i also put this um slightly around my hairline to give a natural looking rosiness to the whole face now for my lips i'm using one of my favorite favorite lip colors and this is a red i love red lips they're so classic and pretty and I'm using my matte shaker in Kiss Me Cherie by Lancome again. These are so good. And I didn't even bother going in with lip liner. I just went straight in with the matte shaker because the teardrop shake gives you a really nice, easy, smooth application. And for my hair, I'm just quickly brushing my hair backwards and then clipping it in place while I get my headscarf ready. And this is a really pretty one from New Look. I love the red. I loved how it tied in with the red lips and the red cherries on the dress. I just thought it looked so pretty. I'm just tying it at the back of my head and then I'm going to be letting my hair down so that it covers it over a little bit. Looks really kind of whimsical and sweet and i like it with the length that my hair is at the moment i just thought it looked really really cute and yeah this is the finished look i'm there, there, there. sorry i couldn't talk i'm putting on my favorite bracelet from ted baker which i mentioned in my favorites video and now we're ready for the day so this beautiful beautiful dress is one of my current favorites it has a built-in kind of bolero style at the top really flattering sweetheart neckline and it goes to about your calves this pink waspy belt which i chose to go with the subtle pink cherry blossom print in the dress is by pocket watchers and petticoats and this is such a good dress for spinning around in it makes me feel so happy when i'm wearing it and the blues the reds everything is really pretty and for some reason this reminded me of snow white i think because of the red lips and the red um ribbon in the hair i don't know but i just thought it was an absolutely beautiful look has kind of a whimsical um kind of vintage fairy tale feel to it but it makes you feel really elegant and it's definitely a standout look but i think it is honestly just so 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 pretty and this makeup is so flattering i really can't get over this this is a perfect every single day look for any time of year really not just autumn and winter but any time of year and this looks just as good with your hair tucked behind your ears. I think that looks really sweet. And um, removing the headscarf. And one of my all-time favorite perfumes is Angel Perfume by Thierry Mugler. It is so good. I have a little mini um, bottle here. And you can just apply this on your wrists, behind your ears, along the side of your neck for a really enchanting scent. And then I have these little earrings that remind me of Betty Boop. Um, that my mother gave me but unfortunately it does tend to rain at this time of year so 
To keep your hair and your makeup still looking fabulous, you can use an umbrella. I love this one that I got off Amazon. It's a dome shape, so it completely covers you and shields you from the rain. And I just think it's great. So that is it for this Get Ready With Me. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. to be